Welcome back to another episode of Mile High Brew Review. Today we talk to Kai Wickwitz, the head brewer extraordinaire from the brand new brew pub in Denver, Colorado from Ten Barrel Brewing Company. Kai fell in love with the craft as many brewers do, by home brewing. He moved to Colorado and worked at Twisted Pine Brewing Company. Eventually he worked his way up and became the head brewer of Twisted Pine. Now he's with Ten Barrel Brewing Company and is making big plans for the future of his beers at this new spot in Denver, Colorado. So Kai, tell us a little bit about what the first recipe you brewed was and was it good? Well, you know, everybody thinks their first homebrew is awesome, right? I thought so too, but it definitely tasted of acetaldehyde um, and that sort of thing. So as much as I enjoyed that, I think the first recipe that I created that kind of, man, that blew me away. I was like, whoa, I can actually do this. It was my first all-grain beer as a home brewer. And it was a Hefeweizen with 90% wheat. Uh, just And it worked out. No stuck sparge, no nothing. And it turned out really, really delicious. Um, I mean, professionally, I think, uh, you know, something that I'm really proud of. I got a chance to kind of brew uh, an alt beer, a shticka, a double alt at Twisted Pine. That was my first beer there. I was really proud of that at the time and uh, I might make some changes now in the future, but it definitely turned out super, super tasty. Did you ever have any homebrew disasters happen to you? Yeah, homebrew-wise for sure, man, absolutely. I think my, like one of my first all-grain batches, I didn't really pick a direction. And it just said I wanted to make like a brown Belgian beer that wasn't a Dubelle and then changed it to like some English yeast and it was too hoppy. It was gross, man. <laughs> Didn't work out. So what's your favorite style of beer to brew? It depends on the day. I'm very, very much into light German lagers, uh, Pilsners specifically, and then Kirchers on the ale side. Um, I love my hops. So Session IPA, Pale Ale, IPAs. Uh, are definitely in my wheelhouse. It's definitely what I'm looking forward to. But um, you know, it all depends on on the day and how I'm feeling. You have any interesting or funny stories from working at a brewery? Well, it's not funny or interesting. Well, it's interesting. But uh, I dry off the tank once, and uh, turns out, you know, I was an assistant brewer, they were just like, hey, you want to dry hop this tank? I'm like, yeah, sure, of course I want to dry, you know, dump a bunch of hops in the top. And uh, turns out the beer was not quite done fermenting, so I had a bunch of beer come up at me out of uh, this four-inch port. A little terrifying, uh, you know, just got doused in beer, but, you know, I was safely strapped in and everything, it was all good, it was just, you know, the beer kind of never made it to the tank, but uh, that, was, that was fun and interesting. There's so much, so much, so many little things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis that, you know, uh, it's crazy. We have a good time, and, you know, we, we are as safe as possible at all times, obviously, but, uh, you know, sometimes you forget about things, and you, like, you blast yourself a beer, right? Even if you're just racking off, and you forget to uncouple your, your, your tavern head, uh, you know, it's still engaged, you're uncoupling it, you just get a little blast of beer at 10 in the morning or 6 in the morning or whatever, and it's like, all right. Nice. So, so what do you have to say to people who are aspiring to become a head brewer? What's the one piece of advice that you would give them? Uh, don't be afraid to work and work hard and, you know, be taught by somebody else, you know. I started from the ground level. You know, I was just, I, I was a home brewer and continued to be a home brewer while I was just filling kegs and, and, and you know, filling bottles and doing all kinds of other stuff that had nothing to do with actually bre being in the brew house. You gotta be open to that. You gotta accept that. And you gotta be willing to do it because if you don't have that foundation, you're not, you know, you, you can be a brewer, become a brewer, but you, you're gonna wanna have that foundation to be the best brewer you can possibly be. So that would be my greatest advice, you know, don't stop home brewing, even if you're not brewing at a professional brewery, um, but like accept the fact that you're going to work 8, 10, 12 hours and you're never going to touch the beer as it's fermenting or while you're mashing in or that sort of thing. So that's sort of the big thing to keep in mind. You got to have sort of a long term view on it. If you really want to be in this industry, you got to work hard, you got to do the best you can. Uh, while not brewing beer, right? You're not gonna just, you can be an amazing home brewer and, you know, be filling kegs for a year or two or three, depending on where you're at, right? You gotta, you gotta come to terms with that. 
but never stop homebrewing and experimenting because it can lead you all the way to, to where you want to be. So now at Ten Barrel, it looks like you have a very nice place here, a good amount of things that you can do as far as brewing. Pretty cool spot. Uh, what excites you about being here at Ten Barrel? Oh, the people are awesome, man. The, the human resources I have, not just here at the pub in Denver, but throughout the Ten Barrel Network, all the other pub brewers, um, all the production brewers, uh, there's so much knowledge to go around and you know they're a phone call away that really really excites me um, you know because they're going to help me become a, a better brewer and they're going to help me you know make this Denver pub uh, awesome and what, what it's going to be so um, that's definitely one thing and the access to raw materials is definitely another thing so having access to hops and malts and not you know having to worry about uh, you know accessibility is great like if I want you know a thousand pounds of Pilsner malt from Germany tomorrow, I, I'm able to have it. So it's definitely the human connection, learning from other brewers, um, working together with everybody here at the pub, just kind of figure out what people are wanting to drink, uh, that sort of thing. It's awesome. I, that excites me the most, obviously. Nice. So you create all these beers on site? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll, we'll definitely have some beers come in from Ben, some 10 barrel staples like Joe and Apocalypse, um, but everything else will, will be created on site. I, I hope to fill all the rest of the lines once I get going, for sure. Sounds like a good plan, man. I mean, you're in a great area. What are you going to do to entice people to come in? What would you say to people to say, hey, come check us out? We have a, we have a great place, a great atmosphere. You can watch me brew right as you come in. Come try the beers. Come try the beers, judge for yourself. They're gonna be awesome. I very, very much look forward to, to being a part of this neighborhood, very active part of this neighborhood. And uh, it's great, you know, we have so many breweries around us and then I just want people to come in and have a beer or two or three here and, you know, go over to the other place if they want to or choose to stay here. I mean, we are, you know, we have great food, we're gonna, gonna have great beers and everything is right there. You know, you can, you can look at the brew house, you can look at the, fermentation tanks, the brights, the serving vessels, like you, if you come here, you're literally a part of the brewery because you can't miss it. So uh, I just encourage people to stop by and, and have a pint and chat and if they see me, you know, give me a shout and whatever questions people have, uh, I'll be right here. Nice, nice. So got one more question for you. What does craft beer mean to you? What does craft beer mean to me? Craft beer to me means, you know, Brewing beer with purpose, brewing beer with a vision, with intent. I'll be right here brewing all the beer, 20 barrel brew house, with a purpose. I, you know, if I set out to brew an IPA, I have a clear vision of what that means. Um, that's what craft beer ultimately means, means to me. I'm here, I'm your neighborhood brewer, I'm doing all the work, and I'm putting myself out there for everybody to see and drink. That's, that's the ultimate definition of craft. It's something I will own, own over years here, and try to get better at, and you know, use the feedback of the neighborhood, and just kind of perfect my craft. <laughs>